few creatures find their way up the face of Zion National Park's orange, red, and white sandstone cliffs. Mammals climb, and birds fly. Both need places to land. Park biologists monitor the cliffs to see where birds, specifically peregrine falcons, are making their nests to make sure people and birds don't cross paths unexpectedly. We're trying to just find where the nests are so we can protect their nest and them nesting uh, and then open up the cliffs for climbers. Starting in March, Zion biologists and volunteers spend hours like this sitting in camp chairs, binoculars in hand, searching for mating and nesting peregrine falcons. It takes a lot of time to just sit and look for the birds that are pretty small on these really big cliffs. During this time, climbing routes on the towering sandstone cliffs are closed to give birds their space. We are trying to figure out where they're nesting and we give them a wide range of area for them to find whichever nest they want. By April, if biologists like Ranger Rachel can see where the birds are nesting, they decide which climbing routes will be open throughout the summer. If we can actually locate a nest, then we can keep that area closed for the birds to do their thing, have their nest, have their little chicks, um, and then we can open up other cliffs in the area uh, for climbers to climb. So how do you spot a peregrine falcon? The easiest way to identify a peregrine is by its call. Uh, it's a loud, uh, they call it a cack. Otherwise, they have a, a really dark head and a yellow beak with um, kind of a light brown chest. Um, and their wing beats are really strong and really fast. Climbers aren't just protecting the birds by avoiding these cliffs during this time, they're protecting themselves too. These birds are highly territorial and they will defend their nest relentlessly. Peregrines are a vital part of the diverse ecosystem in Zion. So the main food source for peregrine falcons are swifts and swallows. Uh, so by eating those kinds of birds, they help population control uh, and in turn help prevent the spread of diseases. Rangers at Zion, along with other conservation professionals across the United States, have been taking action to protect them for a long time. Peregrine falcons were listed as endangered back in 1970. Since they were an endangered species, it really took a lot of cooperation with climbers and biologists to help these birds uh, not be extinct. Thanks to decades of work, the birds are no longer listed as endangered, but are still protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. Once they closed the cliffs to climbers, the, the peregrines did a lot better at uh, nest success. Conserving wildlife in Zion is part of the National Park Service mission. Peregrine falcon monitoring is one way biologists and volunteers ensure a balance between this diverse ecosystem and visitors' enjoyment of the incredible rock that defines the canyon.